This is Sheila on the 30th of July 2024 and I've arrived at Wensley folks. This is the beautiful village green here. That's a man, uh, this is called Bolton Hall or the Bolton Estate. I'm going to have a look at that later. Don't know how big it is or anything. The church is very close. You know, I passed through this yesterday. I missed it completely. I didn't even see the church. There's the church over there. So I parked up. And um, that's as best I can do, really. That beautiful little cottage there. I bet that was there when the ancestors were here. And the village pump. I've got pictures of this that I got online, but these are my own now. Of course, I like a lot of churches, they probably close early, you see. But look at this place. This is um, picturesque. Look at that. Isn't that picturesque? and the village pump everyone so I've got Judith Robinson and John Buckton they're buried over there and they got married over there but look how overgrown the churchyard is really overgrown well I'm going to take some photos now right folks I'm in the graveyard I think it's Holy Trinity at Wensley beautiful village I bet it hasn't changed in hundreds of years. Anyway, here it is. These are my five or six times great grandparents. In memory of, and I've got this picture, someone, I found it online, but I've, this is me touching it. In memory of John Buckton Went Went Wensley, who died December the 15th, 1776, aged 59 years. Also of Jane, his widower, widow who died December the 20th 1809 so she lived a few years after him then 30 odd age 91 years this stone was erected June 20, 1829 by their grandson John Buckton son of their late son Henry of Canterbury there it is there, there it is. I'm probably going to get bitten by ants by the way, it's a very ant hill place and very overgrown, it's lovely really. But look at all the old slabs in there. I mean are they Bucktons? But there it is, that is the gravestone. A little bit of wear on it there of John Buckton and his wife Jane and she used to be Jane Robinson and down from her we've got Betty Buckton and she's got famous brothers who are very clever and she married a John King and from their marriage they had a Jane she probably named Jane King Betty probably named us her daughter Jane after her mother Jane King and she married a Fletcher and that's where it all happened a while back and I've got it all recorded on the computer so there is a lovely big stone to my great 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 grandparents I can't remember if it's five or six times back but he died in 1776 and she died in 1809. I haven't been in the church yet. I've really wanted to find the stone. I can remember a picture of it near with a view of the church in the back, in the background. It was a very, very ant hill place. Should have worn long trousers really. I've got some in the car. This is a day job doing this, you know. This is a day job and massive tombs. 
mass loads of big big tombstones in there um, let's see if I can read one of them look how huge they are there might be a book inside where we can find out who these are there there we go that, that's the gravestone I'm doing a video of it on the Kodak for now there's our church and in the, it, within view of them of their grave only just visible in view is Penn Hill there's the, there's the, it's the, the Penn Hill is just sort of behind there Amazing, isn't it? So we found you, we found you. I've got to take Just some pictures. In the book of Holy Trinity Church. I'll do a video while there's nobody here. Um, my times, I found the grave of my times five great grandparents, John Buckton and Jane Robinson. That's a big old chest, isn't it? Look at that, it's massive isn't it? Look at the lock on that. I could do with that to my house. Apparently it's full of artifacts this place. Big old rob is that a brass robbing? Robbing? Yeah. I hope they do a book. Oh right. Oh, they've even got burial plan, have they? 